Okay. All right. Greetings. Thanks for joining us. broadcast. All right. This is the chat portion of the webinar. All right. So we'll go right into it. My blessings bring in the angels, uh, Lucifer's energies, and, um, dear God, vibrations that are helpful. My blessings, Pamela. Are there any messages for me? Uh, just animal energies are good for you at this time. And this is good to uh, basically going through an energy reset also. So if you feel tired, if you feel fatigued or anything, it's okay. Your astral energies are getting stronger than they have been in the past. So you're going into a new energy field. So Wednesday, yeah. So, yeah, something would, uh, it feels like you also got new spirit kind of energies around you. I'll assist. Question two, are there any messages from Archangel Gabriel? Uh, you're trusting yourself more. And you're connecting more to the spirit energies that are comfortable with you. And you're also leaving the old version of yourself become more angelic energy. So follow, follow your vibration. Carol, are there any messages for me? Uh, right when I saw I saw dinosaur energies. Um, let's see, dinosaurs. Uh, so basically, part of this world, if they're the ancient times, as you know, also during the caveman time period. So you've been hanging on here for some time. You weren't always here incarnating, but your energies have always been here in some shape or form since the Mother Earth. Uh, question two, are there any messages for me from Father God? Mother, Father, God. Uh, you're going into a new transition. So this year is new timelines coming in. So, yeah, continue on what you feel is right. You're bringing in a new vibration. So, yeah, there's a transitional energy coming in, of course. So, yeah, you're just bringing in new vibrations from, our, from the Arturians. And I see a unicorn energy you're bringing that in. So timelines have to take time for timelines to come in. So, all right, we'll just leave it with that. I kind of stepped out during that message, too. Uh, Gundium, any messages from higher self? Uh, you have a um, uh, ocean worlds are connected to uh, that you can go into astral to see this world a little bit more clearly so you go to other versions of worlds other places in astral to get a, it's kind of like a back door to this world so you can see a little bit more clearly now what you bring in you're getting breadcrumbs here but you are on the right track of what you're looking for any messages from prime creator there is a major timeline change coming not just for you but for the world that you're Piecing together. Uh, does it mean that like the mass arrest energies are coming? Well, it just says new energy is coming in. They don't want to make it clear of what's coming, but just basically a new next two to five days. Well, how do you feel about that? Um, yeah, the sun's definitely shifting its energy core. For the earth to shift into a new direction so the sun is pushing us into a new direction not it doesn't always do that i don't think what is that is that energy so uh and on now why did i decide to come to this planet as a female rather than a male i feel like i get along with males better than females well because the females have been very backstabbing that's why so you came as a as a female to battle the go to battle with the female with, with the females even protect the male in some regard yeah because you've had you now another reason why you didn't incarnate as a male as a yeah because you've been poisoned by females and tortured by them and not tort well yeah you can probably visualize some of that yeah i mean yeah to incarnate as a male again it's like do i want to put myself to that again <laughs> Because, yeah, you just, you know, typical males, they don't always notice and everything. It's just, they want to be tortured, even if they don't want to be. So as a female, they're kind of bracing. 
you know, you're kind of protecting yourself. Yeah, and others too. Yeah. Who hasn't been in that boat? <laughs> so, yeah. Question two, my friend had a dream that my mom was in a possession of purple evil horns and I killed my mom yep. with a ball of light. Can you please explain what is the meaning of the dream? Yeah, that really happened. My friend said that I saved her life in a dream because she's, she had a dark side and the horns were calling her. How is this dream related to our third? Yeah, so this is another world, a fantasy world, a a high vibrational world that may be why I've been not so high vibrational after all. So, yeah, you're, yeah, so yeah, you and your mom have had, a, I believe your mom was the mom of that person and you stopped her, the mother, from killing her actually, from what I'm gathering. Your mother's known to get possessed. Your mom, mom is connected to a lot of demonic stuff. And so she's been, yeah, a demon energy in previous incarnations. And it's kind of hard to release that when those are your buddies, those are your family. So it's hard to... That's, see, people that get possessed very easily have been in demonic realms, such as suicides. You know, so they incarnate here. They don't want to be a suicide. Hey, I'm nice and everything. And then they get possessed. Some of them, not all. Of, yeah, so it's people think that being a suicide is all great and everything. Think again. Not every suicide is going to exp go through something like that, but. Yeah. So, yeah. So, not to say your mom's committed suicide recently in previous life. It's been a while, but still, she's still connecting to them. Is this something that you're battling? It's like your Shira battling your mother. It's an ongoing thing. Your mom just has not. She's getting better with every incarnation. She gets better. Like how much is another story. But yeah, she is improving. Uh, Steven, a partner is of work ill. When will she be back to work? Mm. I feel like soon, maybe a couple weeks. But yeah, everyone's getting sick from some. The tension on the world is like insane right now. I believe that she got sick through astral. It's just the tensions of what people are going through. Give her two weeks, maybe sooner. Two weeks. Any messages? I see a lot of Venus energies here. I believe you brought a Venus globe energy, an astral of knowledge, like a library. And you bring that um, light. It's like you re you pull energy from that, it comes through you to the earth. So many Venus beings are incarnated here right now, sharing their light with society. And humanity is gonna to start to feel a shift over time. Yeah, just give it time. Everything's time. <clears throat> I really still believe the aliens, it doesn't mean it's gonna to be tomorrow when they show up, it's getting more likely for them to show up. It's getting higher and higher and higher. I think so. Nobody saw this coming. We keep repeating. Nobody saw this coming, and now look where we're at. So nobody thinks aliens are going to show up. I think again. I think I think anything is possible now. Why not? So yeah, it just people want it. Time to pull them in. People don't want it. Tough. Yeah. You know, symmetry. Any messages needed from me at this time? Uh, just Zeta energies that you're healing through your through your your own now you've been to worlds like this especially during the epidemics like this but realize also like a virus changes the human or the species into another alien species altogether it's kind of happening now in some ways beings are being mutated so yeah people talk about the zombie apocalypse what about the alien apocalypse when people turn into aliens <laughs> which is not always a bad thing they're not eating brains or anything look at bird people look like pig people Yeah. <laughs> uh, Marianne, any messages for me? Um, I'm going to say, I saw basketball. I saw Harlem Globe Trotters around you. The, uh, they're kind of like the basketball, the funny guys, the comedy guys. Uh, I feel like that, that's what you're doing in spirit. You're kind of juggling around a lot, but you're having fun with it. 
keeping the energies high. So you're taking something that's something that's normally serious and bringing laughter in, which is much needed right now because people are losing their minds. So you bring laughter into the spirit world. Oh, fly, flying around. Well, that was, so anyway. Uh, question two, any messages from Gaia to humanity? Uh, there's a lot of illnesses in the mind that have not been healed. And now humanity is facing that mental darkness. You know, people are used to watching the horror movies for fun, right? But now you're kind of living one. Is those horror movies all that much fun anymore? No. It's time to heal that darkness. See, people will prolong darkness. They want it for a long time. But then the world says it's time to let it go. And they don't want to let it go, so they leave. They take their darkness somewhere else. That's what's happening right now. Gideon, Dan, so who keeps messing with my electronics? Woke up early morning and put an alarm, sat in my room. Is this a friendly warning of beings that don't want me where I am? No, nah, don't worry. Yeah, just it feels like AI beings. You can ask them to calm it down, calling the angels, calling some universe to heal it. Um, yeah, I think it, you're being contacted. Uh, but I don't think it's, I feel like actually Zetas are in there in the energy field too. But I don't think it's like get out where you're at. Just be more aware of your guides, that's all. And you are doing that. Question two, any messages? Yeah, this is a time of testing one's abilities, right? Not to give in to fear. And really, this is a psychic, you know, war. A mental war, technically. So go above. You know, people, a lot of people here are connected to the dark cabal energies because they're fighting an astral. That was the message in the webinar. Look at the positive side. Bring in that. Bring, that doesn't mean be a psychopath and say, screw those people that died. Not at all. You know, send love to every, you know, everyone. But yeah, a lot of people are going to suffer right now. And it's good to have compassion for those that are going through difficulties. Um, but it's there thus, you know, you ask the universe, what can you do energetically wise? And just what the more better you are with you, the better for everybody else. So this is, I mean, it's a great testing. T I mean, this is like putting, pushing people over the edge, right? This is opening people up too, spiritually. Upgrading people spiritually. So they might go through hell. They're also going just plow through it. You'll find the light. So trust me, I'm getting hit pretty good myself. Uh, it's not my stuff. It's other people's stuff, but... We'll go into that a little bit later. All right, Kevin. Uh, who is the being that looks like a dragon creature or dog-like that always smiles at me in astral? Are they a teacher or guide? Yeah, well, it feels like a Doberman. Um, well, I guess it's a shapeshifter. It feels like a Doberman. Um, Alex is his name. Spirit guide. Mentor. Uh, heal you from the military side of your life. Give me more of an angelic energy. In. This next couple of, while well, getting years, you'll feel more of the angelic energies you've ever had before, like how connected you are to the earth. I think you already have an idea of it. It's going to get stronger. Uh, I feel volcano energies. So, yeah, just so you keep keeping their eruptions down. That sounds strange, but it does feel like you keep a lot of the... There could be more chaos here. A lot of that's kept calm. Who is the man in top hat with a cigarette? I see. Is this also a guide or a past life? Anything with a cigarette is not exactly a positive energy. So that's more of a... That's more of a, yeah, that's not a good vibration. Like a lower dimensional guide that probably needs to be let go of. I don't think it's a spirit guide that you don't need anymore. 
uh, down in Riggs. Uh, today is my dad's birthday. Does he? Oh, thank you. Uh, does he have any messages today for me or my family? Uh, you're bringing in more angelic energies. You do have aliens watching you in a positive way. But you're also watching over Earth not to panic. So you're all very connected to Mother Earth energies too. We connect to other versions of Mother Earth on other planets. Your dad's fine. He's having a party right now. So not that he doesn't care what's going on in the world. He's bringing up people's... You know, some people get crazy and get all happy. They like, hey, and people are losing their minds right now. A lot has to do with spirits and their birthdays or spirits are having a blast. So you take somebody that's already pretty upbeat and just put them into crazyville, but sometimes you need energy out. Question, question two, I've picked a specific Oracle cards from family and friends. I have crossed over. Any feedback on the cards I picked? Are they okay with them? Oh, yeah. Yep. They're, they're part of the picking process, and it's here to elevate your energies and help you trust yourself better. Yes, yeah, this is an excellent tool for you to know more about what you're doing, what you're here to do. So it's, it's great that you're doing that. Uh, Susie, we have them doing astral. I feel like a lot of feline energies are healing at this time. See George Washington. George Washington's involved with the world going into its transition. I believe George Washington was like a father figure to you in previous incarnations, too. I also saw a gargoyle. Which is also another strange father figure in mentorship. Not a bad way, though. Gargoyles are protectors. Of course, there are many things, but protectors are one of them. Any messages for me? As you can see, the climate of the world is very uneasy, but you are keeping your calm, and your calm is going to continue on because the world needs you here. And as the world puts itself back together, you will be put back together too. I thought you were going to fall apart, but you know, you're going to find a way to elevate your energies. Just keep doing what you need to do. Things will make more sense. Yeah, they can't. Guides and uh, aliens can't break the rules. Whether they want to, to give us more detail. But yeah. Things things will add up eventually. Amy, there's a famous ranch here in Utah called Skywalker Ranch. Sky, yeah, Skinwalker. Yeah, there has been paranormal activity hundreds of years. Native Americans say it's a cursed place of the land, and the beings called Skinwalkers have been seen there. I want to know if this is true or if there's just a portal open to the dimension. There's a lot of lab lab and energies there. I felt Nazi energies there at one time. I don't think there's much going on there now, but there's other facility, government facilities that are not too far from there. It was a testing ground. Most of it's underground now. But they had to test it above ground. So, yeah. It's like human, half human, half something used to be there. Definitely portal energies there for sure. But yeah, that's why they put it there. Wild well, light energies. Yeah. Also in Skinwalker Ranch, they said that if you dig into the earth, that it makes the spirits angry. And then really weird and bad things start to happen. What's going on? Is because the ground has been radioactive? I mean, I don't know if you want to go and try that. I wouldn't do it. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't feel... The whole place is haunted. So, I mean, if you really <laughs> make sure you don't get any attachments if you do anything. Yeah, energy attachments. Because, yeah, you can piss something. Some beings there are protecting it. So, you can piss my off. Yeah, they're, they're pretty powerful in that area. So, anything's possible there. Um, if you put the intentions out, you'll be fine. If not, that you're going to do it. But 
ask for angels to protect you, and you go by and say, is this a good idea? Is this even worth it? Probably not. <laughs> but yeah, it's not a safe place, for sure. I mean, you just get energy attachments. That's a big thing. Miguel, are there any messages from about my health? I seem to have a sore throat for too long. I think just the energy, that, or I don't think you have this thing. It's just that the energy of astral, you're connected to astral. I mean, I feel like my throat is dry, too. And that was fine. I think it's just the, the world. Everything's going nuts, so. Uh, don't worry about it. Just take, do what you need to do. It will go away. Any messages from Archangel Ma Michael? Yeah, you're connected more with astral right now. So don't worry. You are bringing up higher vibrations. Just uh, trust yourself. And uh, you are on the right path. Yeah, I mean, I've been doing a lot more sleeping recently because what's going on? I feel better. But yeah, it's like you get caught in the astral and you get tired. So yeah, I just yeah, try to keep trucking along. Things It'll be a couple months for us to fully not get better, better, but get somewhat better. So, Eric Ken. Is there anything specific I should focus on? Do the Arcturian fuel lines have anything message for me? Crystalline entities, crystalline beings are blue, green, orange, yellow. Uh, whatever you feel is uh, connected to your energy field, but internal healing that can help you. So about whatever you want to bring in to help you feel better about yourself. Does Prime Creator have any messages for me? Uh, can I deposit the timelines that you wish to bring in? There's that insight toys that you're dealing with that also. And astral that are actually healing energies like the butterfly. But just follow your instincts and what you like to connect with. Now's the time for internal healing for sure. Yeah, send healing to the, the earth. Because it's time to find itself. And all right, any messages from Prime Creator? Uh, you have a lot of timelines around you that are kind of spider-like, meaning that there's spider web timelines all over the place. That so they might not always know the direct direction to go in. But just state your place where you want and go. You know, it just feels like there's some alternative because the world's gone crazy basically. And so it might because you're getting timelines from other people that are around you, it seems. I know that sounds a little bit weird, but yeah, just Ask for clearing, ask for, you know, it feels like you're going to get a, an energy upgrade this year. How is the energy collective around me? I feel like I need to move. Yeah, that has to do with the, the energies around it. Yeah, that's up to you. I mean, I don't think you have to move. It just feels that way because everyone's losing their minds right now. Move where? <laughs> Everything's crazy. I should live, move out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, which would probably be good, uh, but it's up to you. You don't have to move. It's just people are losing it. Yeah. It's like, even if you lived out in the woods, there's nowhere to hide. Because the energies are just, it might get worse there because you're connected more to astral. So, up to you, of course. But yeah. Yeah. Tell me about it. I've been feeling tired more than I've ever had because there's the world's losing its mind. Just what messages does the Palladians have for me, Hersha? Have for me as a sign. Uh, you're also connected to a leopard being and a snow being, an astral. Hmm. Just you have more guardian angels around you than you normally do. They're here to help those. And just continue to do what you need to do. Uh, but you are bringing alien energies here. They're just not seeing you. That's what makes it frustrating because you can't see them, but you are bringing more alien energy. I feel like the Eskimos are around Alaska area. I, I want to say you're by Antarctica, but I feel like you're around Alaska at this time. Uh, what other beings have been around me lately and what messages they have for me? All right, yeah. Quarantine is awesome. All right, thanks. Uh, what other beings? Uh, you can't do a few line energy of course i believe you're getting new orders feels like a lot of this coming from andromeda recently and mars which is interesting i don't always pick up the martian energies like that so yeah mars plays a big role well we're going to become more aware of it. our earth's going to connect more with mars uh so you might even see me on elon musk maybe in your dreams or in a thought pattern 
Yeah, because your alien, what you're connected to is connected to Elon Musk in some shape or form. Makes sense, right? Miles? Miles, is there any messages for me? I see you're healing Scorpion and Scorpio energies, Scorpion energies of um, understanding everything that's misunderstood, such as the virus. I think even the virus is a, a virus is a female energy. I believe you've gone dancing with the virus and an astral and spirit. It's kind of like an energy that everybody wants to date. <laughs> so I know she's not a virus and astral. Trust me. It was like a regular girl that you would be attracted to. Let's put it that way. This feels like it's just someone that you're getting to know. Has a relationship. Uh, like, give a um, spirit being, you know, have a weird... Spirit beings are, you know, they yeah, they can come through as, as viruses. Um, it's like it's another incarnation form. And why these are new energies new spirit beings so any messages from my galactic family now is the time to yeah know yourself elephants you're connected to bring those energies in i'll help you you know whatever you feel so you can ask this one time do the elephants have a message for me anything from them I feel like just a big hug probably and that's all it has to be i do see a pink purple elephant <laughs> Which is there for humor purposes. That kind of goofy. <laughs> Alright, I'll just leave it with that. So yeah, just a good yeah. It's like a dog, but funny too. Yeah, well you asked my spirit guides what is the main reason I cannot connect with them? Uh follow your feelings. And I always trusting your guides too. I think you also get angry at them at times. Trust your feelings, trust your intuition. They're working through you just you know, I put my guide sometimes in a bad corner, like them in bad. So don't worry about it. Question two, it has been seven years now that I have been trying to connect with my guides. Did they have feel that like I am not ready? What message, what advice? Yeah, like I said, connect with your your intuition. It feels like you're on a different level with them all together. They do work for you, just don't notice it. Well, what, like, you ask, like, you close your eyes. Like, okay, I want my spirit guides to show themselves. What appears in your mind first? If it's not in dark, just bring the light to clear it. I think you do have a lot of healing probably need to go through. Uh, this is something that you're, something that has not been cleared. It's not really showing what it is. But, uh, yeah, if I can see if a giraffe, if you see an animal, a, a monkey, that's your spirit guide energy. I know my feel is like what, a monkey or an angel. Maybe an angel works better. You know, we see a monkey is like it's like what? But yeah, close your eyes and, see, and ask your eyes guys to show themselves. And you should feel something or hear something. Give it time. Yeah, you feel like you're blocked, but once again, trust your intuition. Don't worry about it. Yeah, a lot of us put our guides in time out. <laughs> so don't feel bad. Because you don't always agree with them. Because they're in spirit, and what do they know? <laughs> I hate to say it, but sometimes they don't know what the hell they're talking about. It doesn't matter they're in spirit. It doesn't matter they have all the knowledge. They don't, they're not here. They're not here to deal with all this. They're not as, they're not as crafty as some people might think. Uh, Chris, uh, does my, my house have a soul? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. It's, um, your car does. You have a car. Trees do. Everything does. The, yeah. You gotta be careful with the house situation, though. Clear, bringing the angels, bring all the angels, clear your vibration, because any being can sit on your house. It ends up being not your house. <laughs> So, you know, go somewhere where you feel like it'd be okay. It's like, okay, this is a house. <laughs> yeah. Your house is very happy that you're there right now. Just everything, the trees, everything that there needs to be there for a reason, for its growth and your growth. Uh, you're a very ancient being that's still not sure about this whole incarnation thing. 
Did you usually spend your time in spirit? And messages for me? Well, usually you're an alien being, like in fourth and fifth and sixth dimension. This is, you know, the... Yeah, <laughs> I think I know what this is. Any messages for me? Yeah, I see you as a... Like an Olympic runner at one time? Time frame? Not clear. I want to say World War II, but I don't know if you're going to connect with that. Yeah, it hurt something too when I said that. I'll just leave you with that. Yeah, it feels like uh, I'm getting Nazi energies. Not that you were a Nazi, but I believe you were in the Olympic Games during that time frame. What does any of that mean? I don't know. You might feel like that's tricks or energies, but I don't think it is. It's a part of you that I have not explored yet. I'm more connected to this world than you might realize. That was out of nowhere. <laughs> Uh, one to eleven. Can you tap in and see if this coronavirus is a big false flag? I don't think it is. I think it's real. To lock everyone down while many other agents are going on. I've heard that this is a regular flu. Even China has made a big deal. No, it's a weaponized flu, but it is dangerous. I believe it's very real. I don't know why people are calling it fake. Well, everybody connects to different things. There are many deaths, but I've heard that as reported coronavirus, that they're just normal deaths. And right, well, you gotta be careful what you read too. Even fake death certificates. I don't think they're faking this. <laughs> Why? They're not faking this. <laughs> it's like there must be another reason for this false pandemic. Are there any live truthers out there? There's evidence? There's no evidence that this is fake. I don't think there's any. I don't think this is fake. They don't shut down the world because it's fake. People are going to connect to the fake stuff because they don't want to believe that this is really happening. But it's real. people are really dying right now. Trust me. <laughs> that's not fake. They're not putting those. See, that's, you know, no. People are really dying. This isn't, they're buying those body bags. Just They're not going to put some fake body in there or nothing. No, that's real. There's a lot of agendas How We're purging the earth. Everything's changing. And a lot of souls have to leave here. So I don't feel like this thing is fake. If you want to feel like this is fake, there's a lot of manipulation going on, yeah. But I believe that there's, there's a lot of this has been weaponized on various different levels. Um, but this is very real. I mean, unless you get it, <laughs> you go out and get the virus and find out how fake it really is. Uh, I don't recommend that, but... No, I believe this thing is very real, and it's not to be messed with. But yeah, you be careful. But yeah, it's here to wreck the economy, uh, but also to change society. So it's doing it, and people don't want to change. So, but no, I don't think it's fake at all. It's more real than people want to realize. But yeah, there are manipulations going on that make people think it's fake, but I don't think it's fake. I don't know what's going on with the hospital. Some hospital area areas are empty, but I don't know what's going on with that. We don't know the whole story on that. But it's very, very real. Trust me. And yeah, the numbers are going to get really bad. Uh, Vasco, every night this week I have been feeling energy going up in my spine. Is there a message from Spirit about this? Well, at least somebody has energy. <laughs> yeah, you're getting... Uh, uh, let's see. Recycled. Yeah, you're assisting the Earth's energy. You're bringing new vibrations in. And at least you're feeling it. So if you feel like you have more energy, more power to you on that one. Because some of us like, feel like we're worn out. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm just beat. I wake up beat. I feel beat. Just feel the stress of the world. Um, but no, this is good. So that shows that you're showing... You're, everybody has their own... Uh, mission here, and you're sending Earth, I believe, Earth energy through the sun. You're just re rebuilding, you're bringing in new timelines, and you're healing the cycle. Not everybody needs to go through be worn out, which is good. I mean, you think right now, some of us, I mean, I feel like I would be like, have more energy than I've ever had. Like, all right, things are changing, I got more energy, I don't have to work so much at work, and I was like, any other messages for anyone? 
Yeah, you're healing a lot of reptilian energies. I feel a mothership you're connected to. Jeez. I'll just put this out there. Where there's a lot of fast food restaurants that are connected to it. <laughs> Meaning food here is going to change. But not yet. Because the health food, the food we got here is not exactly the best. So it's part of a not a super healthy energy, but gradually. The more uh, activate the electric light, electric lights in the body, feel healthier, feel weaner, more comfortable. It's kind of like the food. Notice how the food is making people a lot more bloated and everything, right? It's all done by design. You have to go to the gym every five minutes. Eat a cracker, you gotta go to the gym. It's like, what is that? That was never, that was never the case before. So things are going to. Yeah, we're going through health thing. It's going to be a while, but eventually people will be able to eat food again and feel healthy. Whatever. I mean, it's not going to be fast food, but better food, better stuff. It's Yeah, cause sometimes you have, somebody has a hip bottom, like get all overweight, get back 500 pounds. You got to explore all that too. You know, become a person that can't move. You know, we have to explore all this stuff. It's about... Life. That's what this world's got. You know, give it kudos for that. You know, for you know, take it to that extreme. But eventually, things are going to change, and people will just eat, feel more energized, more alive. That will come eventually. Timing never clear, but that's okay. So, all right, all right, much everyone. Thank you for your questions. More insanity. I was going to do a video after this, or for tomorrow. I'm worn out. So I'm just gonna... New things are coming. New, obviously, new timelines are coming. And the human collective feels like it's not ready for it. Doesn't mean aliens are going to fly in tomorrow. I wish they would. <laughs> but not yet. But we are preparing for it. As for when, I don't think it's ever clear. But I believe, I mean, this is happening. The next, uh, yo. I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat this to death. Just like the whole thing, I saw Trump winning. And I was, you know, like I felt like it, I felt bad. I felt weird saying that, and then look here he is. Same thing. Alien stuff feels the same way. When don't know, but it's coming in. I'm gonna grab ships in the skies tomorrow or next day, but we're getting we're building up towards it. As for mass arrest, I think I'd rather have aliens fly around than have mass arrest. Because then the mass arrest, like, those people be like, oh, shit. <laughs> it's like, no, we can't hide. <laughs> so, so um, and, yeah, be careful what you wish for. I think the energies of them showing up is so high now. I mean, not that, yeah, not that it's going to happen maybe at the end of this year, but this is a hell of a build up. I mean, I didn't incarnate here for nothing. <laughs> Incarnated here for something, and that's it to bring them in to help people understand it. Look like a crazy person, like they are on their way, definitely. Just they have to just say the hell with it. It's like, screw it. I mean, they're never going to be ready. So, we're everything is changing, them showing up. What the hell? So, just have to. And then I think that's when the new currency is going to come in. That's what I'm feeling. They'll show up, the new currency will come in. New currency is definitely in the works, but timing. So, and Trump's there. Trump was wanting to bring in the aliens. What the hell, right? <laughs> so, yeah. All right, blessings.